Hey guys, today we're going to be talking about some of the biggest mistakes people make when cleaning their fishing gear. I see a lot of people trying to clean their fishing gear and they're they're doing it in a way where it could actually damage your 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 reel. So say I went I just went beach fishing and I had dropped this into the into the sand, right? That first of all is really bad. It, it could be, it could end up being really bad because sand will get inside these gears right here. Those little rocks will actually break the gears. They'll make it less smooth and unpleasant to fish. So first of all, after you go fishing, especially in salt water, salt is very corrosive. When you leave salt on things, it really ends up damaging it and, and corroding it. Uh, so it's it's pretty important to just give it a quick rinse after you're done fishing uh, Especially if you're at the beach and you dropped it in the sand to get that sand out is important Because if you let if you let that continue to go on eventually your reel will just stop working And I've experienced this a couple of times before where I thought it would be okay that it was in the sand and not wash it I kept using it and then eventually the gears in here were just so messed up that I was like I can't use this reel anymore and it was a shame because it could have been prevented with this really quick tip. The quick tip is don't blast it with water. You don't want a lot of pressure shooting the sand deep inside here. What you want to do is just quickly rinse it. Turn on the tap water and let the water fall on it and just slowly go like this. Okay? Let it run onto the, the actual reel and just let the and just start reeling, just like that. The main thing is you don't want to blast more sand inside deeper. Water is good, but if it's jet, if it's washing it away, not washing it into it. Easy enough, right? Okay. So now remember, after you're done fishing in salt water or if you're fishing near sand, just give it a quick rinse, like a 30 second rinse. Don't get a hose and blast it. That will that might ruin your reel. Now, in terms of cleaning your rod, I don't really clean my rods as much as I should, but if you want to keep it nice and shiny every time you're done, especially if you're fishing salt water or sand, or if you've got guts all over it, give it a quick wipe. I don't use any chemicals on it, I just use water. And basically what I do is just wipe it off. It's very simple. So in terms of the eyes on the rod here, it's the same thing. Just give it a quick, just give it a quick wipe, but what I wanted to talk about with these guides is a lot of times these guides are pretty sensitive. And you don't want to hook, you don't want to put your hook into the, into this eye right here and then reel it in just to store your rig onto it. Because that will eventually wear down this ceramic or whatever material it is and that will, that might cause like a line snap or that might cause something bad. So you want to keep these safe on the inside. Don't feed your hook through there and then reel it in and store it like that. That's what this is for right here. You see this? Put it in here or if anything store it on this Inside this hole you see um, I didn't think I would need to make this video But I've got a lot of suggestions in our suggestion box at senkoskipper.com To show you guys how to clean properly clean your gear and this may not be the best way But this way has been working for me for a long time um, Comment below. How do you guys clean your gear? Is there a special way that you clean your gear? Is there a special chemical that you use? Is there a special spray that you use? I've just been using straight up water to clean it off. Um, again, when salt gets on this, it can start to corrode it. It can mess up the finish. Um, if you're spending money on your gear, I think it's worth it to spend a minute to clean it after you're done. I know you guys are really tired after you fish. You just want to drop all your stuff and just take a shower and chill. But Think about long term. If you want to keep your gear pristine and looking great and running great, it's going to require a little bit of maintenance. There's no reel in this world that'll last forever. And that's my little that's my little tip of the day. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I want you guys to give us more suggestions in our suggestion box. If you want to see something on our show, the first step is to just let us know. And we might not get to it immediately, but we will eventually get to it. If you're a beginner fisherman, Senko Skipper is a great place to call home. Thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day.